Good morning, brothers and sisters of the hook. On my last trip out, I had to use the anchor because <coughs> the total motor batteries died, so we used the anchor, but I could not get it unstuck. And it broke off. So, the fellow brother of the hook, Dale, he's a friend of mine, take fishing every once in a while, he gave me this anchor. And I thought for sure that it was the same size, but as you can see, it is not quite the same size. If you look, it's a little bit too wide there and a little bit too wide there. So rather than take it back and say thanks, I'm going to go buy one since this was a, basically a Christmas gift. I'm going to go show you how I'm going to fix this little problem. I'll get back to you in a minute. Okay. What I've done is I've measured in to my mark that I marked out in the boat. Put a pencil mark there and there. I'm going to use my handy dandy angle grinder with a metal cutoff blade nice and thin one and I'll show you what I'm going to do Let's see here how am I going to do this there we go we'll do it this way first do this side first this is my back deck because I don't have a good um, out building where everything stays dry and all my tools get rusted up and everything so I just come out here and mess around on the back deck when I want something done okay I don't know if I can do this right or not I hope you can see that still See if we can get this off here. Yep, there we go. Take care of that side. And we'll do the other side. Don't praise me to sing. I want to praise you every day. All right. make a little adjustment here. Let me make a little adjustment so I don't 
cut a finger or two off. I know I got ten, I got a couple extra, but don't lose any right now. <laughs> okay. Come on. These angle grinders are fantastic, folks. Go there. Well, we scared that. Now I'll get a file and file these down, and I'll stick it back in the boat. Angle grinders are fairly cheap and very handy. I have seen angle grinders for sale on Harbor Freight for as little as 20 bucks, um, but those are are like four and a half amp motors. I use a 6 and a 7 plus amp motor on my heavy duty work or cutting the steel. So if you're going to buy an angle grinder, I suggest at least get a 6 amp, uh, 4.5 inch. That's all I need. Um, they come in 5 and 7 inch. A lot more expensive, but I found my 4.5 inch angle grinders is everything I need. Get everything done that I need getting done. Very handy. Oh, love them. Okay, now because I have raw steel exposed that's not been galvanized and I don't want it to rust, I'm going to hit it with some epoxy, cover it up so it'll take longer to rust. <laughs> yeah, wait till it dries and I'll put it back in the boat. Okay, put all these leaves in the boat. Every day, every day this time of the year, it's full of leaves. And let's see if this fits. Looks like it's going to fit just fine and dandy. Perfect. Look at there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And I'm not going to hook it, hook the rope up to the anchor yet because I plan to do some shrimping. And I use a different anchor for that. 